Hanoi traffic is a swirling mix of scooters and cars. And this is the, the main bus stop in the city. Scooters carry everything, including, as you'll see in a minute, babies. All sorts of obstacles overflow onto a roadway, including fruit bars. There don't seem to be any rules at junctions, but somehow everyone gets through with the help of a bit of hooting. Pedestrians and traffic share the roadway. And bikes in particular seem to have a special gift for evasive action. Shops overflow onto the pavements and people edge between bikes to cross the road. Traffic sound permeates everywhere. And you wonder if anyone ever gets to hear the music in the Opera House. Once you get away from the busy harbour, Halong Bay, a hundred kilometres away from Hanoi, offers a refuge from the turmoil. It's a centre for boat cruises on these beautiful teak junks. The less well-off shelter under the pier to do some fishing. Yeah. Absurdly, we got the whole junk to ourselves. The attraction here is this huge flock of limestone islands, which provide characteristically far eastern looking landscapes. Fishing village. Yeah. yeah floating yeah, fishing floating village. village yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they live here whole year round. Yeah. 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 Oh. So uh, go uh, surround here uh, because Halong Bay is very big. Yeah. Uh, in fact they separate from main bay. Yeah. Yeah. Halong Bay and ha uh Bai to Long Bay. At Tam Kok, you can take a river trip up to some more spectacular limestone scenery. It's nice to get away from the sound of motors. Here we're passing by some graves set typically for Vietnam out in the fields. You share the stream with fishermen.
You rowed up the stream about a mile, typically by a wiry local woman, whose rowing technique can be quite surprising. The stream runs through three caves in the limestone. Suddenly, as you get to the furthest point of the trip, the pressure's on again as people gather around trying to sell you souvenirs. Back in Hanoi, and just round the corner from our hotel, we found the Confucian Temple of Literature, founded at about the same time as Westminster Abbey. It grew into a Confucian teaching center, and the guidebooks call it the first university of Vietnam. Its water-filled quads must have been peaceful ones. These stones resting on sculptures of tortoises are supposed to be engraved with the list of the alumni. Well, there we are. Our trip was an odd mixture of hustle and tranquility, but one thing's for sure, we'll remember it for a long time. <laughs>